So, a company makes monsters. The company makes small monsters with height of 20 centimetres. So, this picture represents that. A small monster has a surface area of 300 centimetres squared. Key thing here, surface area. The company also makes large monsters with a height of 120 centimetres. A small monster and large monster are mathematically similar. Work out the surface area of the large monster. Okay, you just need to know uh, your facts about similarity and stuff like that here. So, if we have similar shapes, Okay, the lengths are always in a scale factor. So if you have the lengths, okay, the length of the, let's say, the small one to the big one, well, the small one is 20 centimetres, and the big one, we said, is 120 centimetres. So the scale factor between them, what do you multiply to get from 20 to 100? The scale factor is going to be equal to 6, okay, because 20 multiplied by 6 is 120. Now with area, that's with length, that's the length scale factor. With area, if you're working out the area scale factor, well the area scale factor is always whatever the length scale factor is squared. So the area scale factor is going to be 6 squared, i.e. 6 multiplied by 6, which is equal to 36. So if I know that the surface area of the small one is 300, centimeters squared, I know that if I multiply it by 36, I'm going to get the uh, larger one, okay? So the question is, I have to go away and do that. So I want to work out 300 multiplied by 36. Now you can do this in a quicker way. Obviously what you could do is work out 3 multiplied by 36. 3 multiplied by 30 is 90. 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. 90 add 18 is equal to 108. Okay, so therefore 30 multiplied by 36 must be uh, 1080, and therefore 300 multiplied by 36 must be 10,800. And the units, 10,800, the units for this must be centimeters and squared. Okay.